Hello trivia friends, welcome back to De Tormentes. My name is Sean, this is round 76 of the Ultimate Trivia Quiz. 50 questions as always, quite a challenging quiz today. Keep track of how many questions you can answer correctly. Check the end of the video to see which rank you managed to get. The topics for today's quiz are All things science Language Mixed trivia questions Creatures great and small and Cities and countries. Let's start the quiz. What do you call a force that tends to cause rotation? Is it torque, tension or momentum? The correct answer is torque. In birds and reptiles, what do you call the opening that serves for excretion and reproduction? Cloaca, Malcora or Pectorius? It is the Cloaca. What do you call the solid outer part of the Earth? The troposphere, lithosphere or rhizosphere? It is the lithosphere. What do you call the tendency of dissimilar particles or surfaces to cling to one another? Adhesion, inhesion or cohesion? The correct answer is adhesion. What do you call a cloud of interstellar matter, mainly dust and gases? Neutrino, pulsar or a nebula? It is a nebula. Which refers to a gas or liquid gradually filtering through a porous surface? Carboxylate, fenestrate or percolate? It is percolate. Which refers to a very small human or humanoid creature, hominid, homunculus or hematocrit? It is a humunculus. Which refers to the wasting away of muscles due to underuse or neglect, entropy, atrophy or extrophy? It is atrophy. What name is given to the study of currency? Is it numismatics, numerology or numeration? It is numismatics. In zoology, what term is used for animals that are active at twilight? Crepuscular, nocturnal or cothernal? Crepuscular. Which refers to saying the same thing twice over in different words? A neologism, portmanteau or tautology? A tautology. What do you call a figure of speech using contradictory terms? Analogy, simile or oxymoron? It is a oxymoron. Which is another name for a pun or a play on words? Paranomasia, acrasia or monocasia? Paranomasia. Substituting a harsh term with something more subtle and indirect is called an elegy, an epigram or a euphemism. It is a euphemism. What do you call a group of lines forming the basic unit of a poem, a quintet, a stanza or a haiku? It is a stanza. What do you call a phrase that uses a double negative to create a positive, an anecdote, a monoptote or a litote? It is a litote. 
A logically self-contradictory statement is called a paradox, an enigma or a panderism. It is a paradox. Complete the saying. Take it with a grain of salt, sand or sugar. A grain of salt. In writing, what do you call a comparison between two different things? Hyperbole, simile or chiasmus, chiasmus? It is simile. Words that have the same spelling or pronunciation but different meanings are called autonyms, homonyms or synonyms. They are homonyms. As of 2022, which is the only African country in the list of 10 most populous countries? Is it Egypt, Nigeria or Sudan? The correct answer is Nigeria. What is the Society of Jesus more commonly known as? Coptics, Jesuits or Franciscans? They are called Jesuits. According to legend, which complex knot did Alexander the Great cut with his sword? Medusa's knot, Democles' knot or the Gordian knot? The Gordian knot. The Winter War was fought between the Soviet Union and Hungary, Finland or Turkey. The answer is Finland. Who is the lead vocalist of rock group The Who? Roger Daltrey, Pete Townsend or Keith Moon? Roger Daltrey In Romeo and Juliet, what is Romeo's surname? Is it Montague, Capulet or La Pucelle? It is Montague what name is given to the Palestinian uprising against Israel? Manakish, Habibi or Intifada? The correct answer is Intifada. Deloitte, Ernst & Young, KPMG and PricewaterhouseCoopers are considered the big four in what industry? Accounting, mining or banking? Accounting Which economic policy seeks to increase prosperity through restrictive trade practices, liberalism, mercantilism or socialism? Mercantilism In legalese, what clause refers to an unforeseeable event preventing the completion of the contract, force majeure, habeas corpus or per curiam? Force majeure Time for the bonus question. With reference to education, what does the E stand for in the STEM abbreviation? If you know the answer to this question, leave your answer in the comments below. Also, if you are enjoying this quiz, please leave a like and consider subscribing. It really helps. Now back to the quiz. What type of bird is this? It is a puffin. What creature do we have here? A millipede. What type of animal is this? A cheetah. What type of animal is this? A pangolin or pangolin. 
What type of bird is this? It is a shoebill. What type of animal is this? An axolotl. What type of animal is this? A Komodo dragon. What type of bird is this? A peacock. What type of fish is this? It is a sunfish. And what type of spider is this? A black widow. What do you call someone that lives in Perth, Australia? Is it a Perthian, a Perthite or a Perthling? They are called Perthites. Which of these cities is closest to Beijing, China? Is it Seoul, Delhi or Bangkok? Seoul is the closest. On which continent will you find the country of Suriname? Africa, Asia or South America? In South America. In which U.S. state will you find the city of Phoenix? Is it Arizona, Texas or Virginia? In Arizona. Counted among the seven wonders, in which city was the Colossus statue? Was it Alexandria, Rhodes or Pompeii? The correct answer is Rhodes. Which is the largest of the four main islands of Japan? Is it Shikoku, Kyushu or Honshu? Honshu. In which city will you find the Spanish steppes? Lisbon, Barcelona or Rome? It is in Rome, Italy. In which country will you find the port city of Acapulco? Mexico, Brazil or Argentina? In Mexico. What is the title of Syria's head of state Bashir al-Assad? Is he the prime minister, president or the king? He is the president. Which country uses the renminbi as currency? Is it Nepal, Somalia or China? It is China. And that's it for today's trivia quiz. How many questions could you answer correctly? Take a look which rank you managed to get and share it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to answer the bonus question. With reference to education, what does the E stand for in the STEM abbreviation? If you know the answer, share it in the comments below. Please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.